Hello and welcome everyone to Oil Asset of the Day for the 18th of August 2020, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So what do you need to know about oil at the moment? In the latest week, we have seen hedge funds and money managers, yet again, they've slightly increased their net long positions on oil. And in fact, at the start of the week, we had a 1% breakout to the upside, breaking out to 43 US dollars per barrel. What's been interesting here, though, is that we haven't seen a sustained move. In fact, at the moment on Tuesday, oil is down 1.5% on the day. It's dropped back towards $42 per barrel. This is really what I continue to expect for oil, to see this ricocheting between support and resistance. Resistance at 43, support at the moment at 41. Week to week at the moment, we're moving within approximately a $2 range here for crude oil. Overall, my positional bias is long still on this market. And I would look at opportunities to buy in near support, near the 41 US dollar per barrel level down to 40, and then take the price back towards that previous level of support, which was broken back in March, which is the levels before the price wars where we saw a break down below 42, all the way, of course, where oil went sub 40 US dollars per barrel on the May contract, but $6 per barrel on the spot price with crude oil. I would look for opportunities here, again, to trade that range. So it's very much the same we, as we were discussing last week as well, that really the best way to capitalize is not get too ambitious here on oil. You just want to capitalize on a $2 move. Week to week can do really well for you. It's just that regular churn from support to resistance, capitalizing on that range bound trade, and then keeping an eye on data such as, of course, the API data that we have on Tuesday, Wednesday's oil inventories, and in fact, this week too, we have the minutes of the FOMC statement that does tend to have an impact on oil. Now, I mentioned last week as well, keep an eye on the dollar. If the dollar continues to break down, it will provide support to commodities and also oil as well. So oil price in US dollars, we've seen a breakdown today again, back down to three year lows for the dollar. This is further helping support oil prices. And we've seen a breakout back towards $43 per barrel earlier on in the session. So keep an eye on those correlations, but also Three major news items, the API data on Tuesday, Wednesday's oil inventories data, and also the minutes of the FOMC. Overall, these can be catalysts for big moves, and our positional bias is still to be long on oil, but buying on the dips. So with that, that's been oil asset of the day, and of course, I wish you good trading.